Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter after updating to Windows 10 Creators Update 1703. Our viewer is facing a system.access violation exception when trying to transfer data to a portable device using a specific code snippet. Let's dive into the details. The viewer is attempting to copy content to a portable device, but when executing the target stream.write method, they encounter a system.access violation exception. This issue seems to be unique to the Windows 10 Creators Update 1703, raising questions about what might be going wrong in their code. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. The issue you're encountering, system.access violation exception, typically indicates that your code is trying to access memory that it shouldn't. This can happen due to incorrect handling of pointers or streams. In your code, the problem may arise from how you're using the target stream. Specifically, the int ttr pcb written parameter should be passed correctly to the write method. Additionally, since this issue is reproducible only on Windows 10 Creators Update 1703, it might be related to changes in the operating system's handling of streams or memory. To troubleshoot, consider adding error handling around the write method to capture any exceptions and log the values of bytes read and optimal transfer size bytes. Lastly, ensure that your application has the necessary permissions to write to the portable device. Sometimes, access issues can lead to exceptions. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. If you're experiencing a system.access violation exception when copying data to a portable device after the Windows 10 Creators update, there's a known issue with the iSequential Stream Write API. Microsoft introduced a bug that causes it to fail when the output variable is set to null. To work around this issue, you can modify your code. Instead of passing null, allocate memory for the output variable. This change allows the API to function correctly without crashing. This workaround should help until Microsoft resolves the bug. Special thanks to Alistair Brown for discovering this solution. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. After struggling with this issue, the user found a solution by using a task to transfer content to the device. They recommend running the transfer in a separate task and waiting for it to complete. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
a user reports experiencing a system.access violation exception when copying data to a portable device after installing the Windows 10 Creators Update 1703. They believe this is a bug in the update. The issue has been documented on Microsoft's feedback platform, specifically under the Visual Studio and .NET Framework section. Users are encouraged to report their experiences there. The user also provides a simple repeater tool for testing the issue, which can be downloaded from a provided link. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Bye.